What are you doing, Rob? I'm planning my new garden, Dean. It's going to be a beauty. You see, it's a, a square block, and it's mm. 10 hectares in area. Mm. And uh, I decided to plant flowers, and I thought, no, I'll have a circle inside that big square, and I'll put in carrots. I thought, no, I'll have a square inside that circle <laughs> and put in an orchard. Right. The problem now is, what's the area of the orchard? Well, it's 10 hectares altogether? Yep, and it's a square. Well, the orchard, the part with the trees, is certainly more than half. Um, can you tell me the, the dimensions? How wide well, is the orchard? How deep is no, the orchard? No, I can't, because I don't know them. Well, then I'll have to resort to guessing. I can't no, tell you, you exactly. You think I should be able to work it out exactly? Yep. How? Well, let me put the plan to one side and produce a bit of paper that's the same size as the plan. Yes. Now, just fold the corners of that into the centre. To meet in the centre. Right. Okay, you got There's the right one. idea. To save time, here's one that's been finished. Oh, okay. What I really want you to do is to open them out again. Mm -hmm. And what have you got? Oh, uh, well, inside the large square, I have a, a, a diamond shape, which is really like a square turned. That's right. Isn't it? And what's the area of that little square compared to the big? Um, well, when it's folded over, we have two little squares. Uh, the small square must be exactly half the area of the big square. Exactly. Right. Well, what would happen if you drew a circle all the way around the points of the little square? You'd have a circle around the little square. Indeed, it would look like that. <laughs> okay? Right. And you could rotate that little square inside the circle any way you wanted to, couldn't you? Yeah, it wouldn't change the area. It wouldn't, indeed, even if it looked like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so the orchard... The small square is exactly half the large square, it's five hectares. You've solved my problem.